Welcome to the final video of our suite of eight mini videos to support you through the data requirements needed to run the local housing market assessment tool referred to as LHMA in this video. Please use these as reference resources prior to and as you populate the LHMA tool. You will have need to have populated your housing market areas as shown in video one before starting this task. This video focuses on the sheet named Existing Stock and Plan Supply in section two of the tool. You will need to provide your current stock together with your best estimate of the plan supply over the first five years of the LHMA period. The tool will average the data over the five years to estimate an annual stock figure. These figures will be deducted from the social rent and intermediate housing need to provide the undersupply or oversupply within each housing market area for your local authority. You will need to populate table 12 with the current stock and plan supply for social rent, intermediate rent and low cost home ownership. For all 10 years within affordable housing, you need to consider the committed supply, expected relets and any planned removals over the first five years of the LHMA period. You will need to provide this data by housing market area. For social rent at tenure only, you also need to provide by the number of bedrooms. You will need to provide this data by housing market area. For social rent at tenure only, you also need to provide this data by the number of bedrooms that will be built or acquired over the first five years of the LHMA period. Developments should only be included if one, they funded through capital grant via the main programme development plan for social housing grant. Two, they are in a local authority or registered social landlord's own development programme funded without capital grant where planning permission or reserve matters permission has been granted. And three, they are secured by a section 106 agreement, planning condition or other appropriate mechanism where a full planning permission or reserve matters permission has been granted, or the build will start on site or will be completed within the LHMA period. You will need to estimate the expected relets or turnover. This includes the number of relets a local authority or registered social landlord would expect in any one year and is based on the average of the last three years data. You will also need to include planned removals. This would cover, for example, any stock which will be demolished. When complete, you can tick the appropriate box on the front page of section two. And this concludes the requirements for the current stock and plan supply data requirements. For further information, you can consult the LHMA guidance or email Welsh Government at afdl-lhma at gov.wales. This video completes the suite of eight mini videos to support you through the required data inputs to run the LHMA tool. We would welcome your feedback and ideas for any future developments on the online trainer materials via the LHMA mailbox.